More than 100,000 families in Ottawa braced for a second night without power Saturday after not one but two tornadoes tore through the region on Friday, the last day of summer. The first twister was massive, cutting a swath a half kilometre wide with winds between 240 and 250 kilometres an hour. There were no fatalities and no reports of missing people, but six people in Ottawa were admitted to hospital, two in critical condition. In Gatineau, 14 people were taken to hospital. The first twister touched down in Kinburn and tracked east-northeast, striking a direct hit on Dunrobin just before 5 p.m. Friday. My husband grabbed our other son and it was just so scary. Yeah. Have you... Nothing like this before in your life? You're like, what was it like being in the house? I thought we were going to die. Everything, you kept hearing glass breaking and... And then someone knocked on our window to see if everybody was okay. The storm then skipped across the Ottawa River and through Gatineau Park before causing more destruction in the Mont Bleu region of Gatineau. The damage was extensive, displacing upwards of 500 people, many of whom spent the night at an emergency shelter. Um, what's tonight been like for you? Uh, it's devastation. It's devastation yeah. because yeah. when you hear um, that many um, mm, roofs, roofs, many roofs of uh, big buildings have been swept away by the tornado. You think about the people inside. It was around 5 o'clock on a Friday night. So you can imagine everybody, almost everybody was home. The second tornado touched down at about 6.30 Friday evening. Giant old white pines were toppled over, cars were flipped, and trees snapped off like twigs. What it looks like is it looks like the our neighbor's tree just got picked up right at the base, it snapped it off at the base, and it fell over, I, I don't know, I'm guessing, and uh, picked up the RAV4 and just kind of shoved it up against the golf, and there's a basketball net in there somewhere. Um, but right now, both cars are not useful. On Ardell Grove, two houses, the, the roofs got blown off, and uh, looks pretty pretty bad. The trees are all uprooted on the, on our street. Our house looks okay, except the wind, the front door got blown open. Power is still an issue. It could take days, not hours, to get power on in many communities in the city of Ottawa. That's what we heard from a city hall briefing on Saturday morning. Some of the top city officials were behind me giving the media an update on the situation in storm-ravaged areas of the city, like Dunrobin and parts of Nepean. All across the city, we have almost 150,000 customers without power as of 10 o'clock Saturday morning. On Saturday, communities across the National Capital Region came together to start cleaning up. As soon as uh, I heard that they touched down on Mont Blue, I was like, because uh, these guys are like my kids, right? So it's... As soon as I heard that, I was just like, oh, i got to get home, got to save the boys. They made uh, chili, and we've got just a ton of people coming together, dropping off things. Here's some butter, here's some buns, here's some meat. We have grocery stores that haven't been able to open. They're saying, we've got this food, please use it. Again, we're so fortunate because to look at us, we're just like, oh, you must be having a, a festival or something like that. But really, what it's about is bringing the community together.